Now we're going to get to some enhanced video, and we'll go play by play through some of the more occultic statements, like we shall read the sign in your burned effigy, the bound body. That's exactly what the Druids actually did. They would roast cats, uh, goats, oxen, horses, and watch the pain of how they died, and from this extract some type of mystical energy force or power, and also be able to tell the future. All of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. Upon further research of the ritual you just witnessed, it becomes clear. It is a mixture of the Babylonian Canaanite cult of Moloch, fused with ancient Druidic rites, where you have the female side of Satan, which they first call out to in the she, and then towards the horn god with the he, mixed with Masonic rites from Scotland. It's very likely that many of the 1,500 to 2,000 member crowd had really no idea what they were actually watching because it was thinly veiled. Here we have some more enhanced video as the boatman, again with his face painted up like a skull, pulls his boat uh, across the small lake towards the high priest with the red of his cloak visible with his hand outstretched as if he is pulling the damned soul towards him as they throw off their cares, their conscience for what they have to do in the world. Also, you have the arrangement of the circle of higher level priests around him, the high priest in lighter colors, and then the outer rooms of red, and then those in black. Uh, this is consistent uh, with the darker workings of the occult, not just with the western uh, countries, but also worldwide. Now, when you see that black edge coming to the field, that's because we zoomed in on the video, and many times the picture was almost out of the screen, so that's the edge of the field or the view of the camera. We'll get back to more enhanced video of the ritual here in just a minute. But remember PJ, the little demon down in the corner, the left-hand corner of the program, sweeping up the ashes with little horns? And how can you forget this, the image of a human body burning on the altar? Again, this is what they were handing out to those that were witnessing uh, these macabre activities. But again, from Babylon on into ancient England, the word bone fire, meaning human sacrifices being thrown into fiery pits, turned into today's bond fire. After the sacrifice, members of the cult would sweep up the ashes of the victim and use them in future rituals. One of the things that is extremely obvious by looking at the program handed out to Bohemian Club members is the person creating the program had a deep understanding of the occult. Shall we burn thee once again this night? And 
the flames that eat thine effigy, we shall read the sign, Midsummer sets us free! You shall burn me once again! Now but leave flame, which hither ye have brought from regions where I reign. Ye fools and priests, I spit upon your fire! Wow. Prince of all mortal wisdom, all of Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. For great owl of Bohemia, we thank thee for thy adjuration. There you see the funeral pyre burning uh, with the effigy of a human, or it could be real, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's been a lot of strange going-ons in that area of Northern California, but this is what the establishment is into uh, right here in America, the cremation of care. And this was July 15, 2000. These people are deadly serious, those taking part in the ceremony. Another point, the pyrotechnics you're seeing going off uh, were being released from beneath little rod iron crosses about a foot and a half tall. Also, notice the screams of pain coming uh, from the sacrifice. Sets us free! <laughs> 